New at 5, the governor is shooting down a proposal that would allow first-time drinking and driving offenses in Michigan to be expunged. The governor's office says Whitmer pocket vetoed the bill by not voting on the matter at all. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chaykat shows us how people on both sides are debating the issue. As a result of a decision made by the governor, drinking and driving offenses in Michigan will continue to be something that cannot be expunged from your record. That includes first time offenses that involve no injuries. She had both parties. She had both the Republican Party and the Democratic Party support this bill. This is not a third time offender. This is not someone that picked up something in seven years, two of them in seven years or three in 10 years. This is a one time offense. Expert attorney Todd Flood responding to Governor Whitmer shooting down a proposal to expunge first time drinking and driving offenses in Michigan. Flood says he disagrees with the governor, considering those requests for a clean slate would still require review by law enforcement, the county prosecutors, the Michigan AG and a judge. People don't have records are more apt to get jobs. Um, you want to get a, a, a driving a truck. You want to get a CDL license, a commercial vehicle license. You're not going to get one with an OWI. He adds it doesn't make sense when people who commit felonies and more serious crimes can have them expunged. You can get that, that, that crime spree within 24 hours expunged. And that is selling drugs or doing anything to up to a felony of 10 years. But setting aside convictions for first time drunk driving has also been a hot button topic for those making the counter argument. It is uh, something that I live with uh, still to this day. January 25th would be Erica Motley's late husband Roderick's 49th birthday. He passed away February 7th, nearly four years ago after a crash in Detroit with a drunk driver. I have nothing against drinking. But when you decide to get behind anything that is motorized that can take a life, to me, that is something that um, is horrendous. And I still live it still to this day. Erica says she supports the move by Whitmer and stands with mothers against drunk driving. It takes away so many lives that are affected. The governor did not elaborate any further as far as her decision on this subject, simply allowing this proposal to expire after a 14 day period. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.